hello and assalamu alaikum everyone i am usama aslam and today we will learn about how we can get the fragility curves after any analysis uh, we see in mostly papers uh, this they draw fragility curves to check the damage after analysis like it is a very mm, useful tool to evaluate to evaluate the structural damage under various levels so there are four levels actually op operational phase immediate occupancy iu uh, damage con uh, i think yeah, damage control repairs life safety and collapse prevention sorry and yeah five levels so every level have its own uh, different percentage of interest story drift uh, what is interest story drift actually we can get it from e tab when we uh, do the analysis at different uh, intervals so every level has its own percentage of interest story drift so this is defined by the fema code <coughs> yeah so now i will tell you two ways of uh, getting fragility curves one is uh, through excel file you can uh, yeah you first of all you at least you must have three ground motions to get the fragility curves and then you also must calculate the interest rate drift in e tabs for uh, different uh inter intervals like here i calculated for 0 after and the interval is 0.1 and i calculated up to 0.5 so in uh, at every interval you will get the maximum interest story drift in the e tabs uh, you have to see that uh, interest story drift and put here for example i selected here the six ground motions christchurch morgan hill mar mendel ran loma pita Kolinga and etc. Six ground motion and I uh, I show you in the right tab. I <coughs> yeah here I will uh, I will see because see you can see I I like defined every different uh, interval. For example, we see here zero point one Christchurch and we want to see the story drift. Uh, but we want to see the maximum so you can see here the maximum value is given here 0.001137 so uh, f uh, like this we will check for every uh, every earthquake and different intervals it will change it will increase at uh, every uh, 0.3 it will obviously go up so we have to get the values of each interstory drift from like this i showed you then what we do then there are five levels we have to calculate the mean and then do its standard deviation you don't have to uh, i will provide you this sheet uh, you can uh, uh, get an request and access and also i will show you how to do in the matlab and you can also i will also upload in my google drive and you can take and uh, yeah so <coughs> here what what i uh, did you have to apply this formula forecast so what is this formula for example now for op forecast at this because its interest rate drift is this so for you it will forecast this from this interest rate drift it will automatically forecast the value what uh, actually uh, best value for the ground motion 1 similarly for ground motion 2 and this is a ground motion 2 so yeah zero point this will stay same but this column this column in cha will change you have to select all similarly for everything ground motion 3 4 5 6 S then for this immediate occupancy what will change only the uh, second column will like because its maximum interest rate is 1 so it will come here and next uh, the process is same we have to repeat for every uh, every interval and every ground motion then you have to calculate the mean so just simply formula average of all of these six ground motions and uh, you can see we will calculate mean for every and uh, then standard deviation its formula is also given standard deviation and uh, it will just uh, calculate the standard deviation for this similarly for like this for every one you have to calculate so uh, that's all for uh, because i was comparing two codes like chinese and pakistani code so the same process is for the chinese code 
so if you want to draw in excel then then i will show you also but let me okay when you get these values mean and standard deviation then you can go directly to the matlab i have already written the code so yeah this is for building code of pakistan clear all global clc then for five levels op iu dcls and cp you will write its mean so let's see from op what was the mean okay 0.4427 Uh, you see and for like you have you will write for everyone then you will write the standard deviation for op and for every case five levels let's verify one for life safety 0.97 something yeah life safety 0.9 okay then uh, this is the pga our i i will want to keep this pga range from zero interval is this and uh, the limit is 2.5 then i will uh, i will do the normal distribution yeah distribution of uh, this one pg uh, i want to do the normal distribution for pga but for mean and also for the standard deviation i will i have put this formula then the simple plotting code plot op five levels x label y label and x is this one and legend okay and then let's just run this you will see this is the fragility curve you can get by like this and then you can do whatever changing you want you can move legend here want to change color and whatever so this was the way how we can get in the uh, matlab now for example you don't know you have matlab because this is very heavy software you just want to draw in excel so the same process for example here ground motion one you i i just did it for four ground motions you calculate you see the ground uh, interstory diff from the e tabs okay 3 4 and 5 then what you do yeah then this is fema 65 i wrote the interstory diff yeah and then same formula for cost uh, 0.5 like this and then simply this one uh, like simply you from this end to this end this end to this end it will it automatically forecast for all the you can see and that already explained then you calculate mean okay average simple same so like this and then x1 x2 and x4 <coughs> this is the formula like d1 minus <coughs> okay x1 yeah d1 minus for example this is for the op x1 i mean uh, for ground motion 1 x2 for the ground motion 2 x you uh, here i calculate four ground motion then you also calculate four x4 so simply like d1 minus mean similarly here e1 1 to minus mean yeah i will be same just this will change and then you just do the sum of these x and then because we were taking four ground motion so we just calculate the average and for divided by 4 like n4 the sum divided by 4 and then you just uh, apply the standard deviation this is the formula of uh, if you in the matlab you just uh, like uh, this is the other formula like this is some long process square root of uh, average value of this one so you will get the standard deviation then you just like mean i just copied this column here and this column here standard deviation okay now yeah this is how we will get the uh, regularity curves how what what i did for example i did here for example you want to go from 0 to 100 level so you can choose any interval here in the matlab i choose this one 0.01 because it's easy to calculate in matlab but here because it will take lo take long process so i just uh, kept the interval high like 0.1 0.15 0.2 0.25 like 0. Point you can choose any interval it's not it doesn't matter and then okay then this is a formula for uh, op normal distribution q3 this value 0.1 and then you have to write this these values 0.038 and this one if it is true and it will give you you just apply the one formula and then you just pre press control uh, d and it will automatically just this column will change like this one and rest these value will be same 
and yeah you will get these or similarly like here uh, yeah same thing just this value change are you dc this value will change for this so when you will calculate this so then you will get this curve for example this for op this is for io this is for ls dc this is for life safety and this is for uh, class prevention here yeah. so yeah this is how we can calculate in the excel and this is how we can calculate in the matlab and you have to see for this actually you have to perform id analysis if you don't know i will also make this video uh, about how we can do in incremental dynamic analysis yeah so that's all if you have any question please let me know and uh, yeah i will upload in this in uh, my google drive and then you can access thanks